Hello everyone, Hamel here going through my portfolio today for the weekend update. Before I do that, quick disclaimer. Okay, so just going through all the positions I hold across all the accounts. So as we can see, my worst performing position is down 56%. My best performing is up to 99%. So I keep track of every trades, even for example, if uh, so you can see everything there. <clears throat> so I keep uh, track of every trade. So if I'm buying Amazon three times, then uh, each position uh, stays on its own weight. So, so I try to, I, I sort these numbers by several different ways. So for example, if I short it by the smallest days to the, to the most days that I have held this position, I want to see how I'm doing on my recent positions. And obviously this does not include the ones I sold, but as we can see, the last time I have incurred uh, larger loss is 18%. That was back uh, on July. That position was initiated. So I want to make sure that I keep track of things and then I, you know, sort numbers different way to make sure that I'm doing better in uh, my decision making basically. So let's go back here. So these are all the stocks that I own. Uh, some of them are in my 401k. So those are just the funds uh, that uh, are in that plan. So that is highlighted in a different color here to make sure that I realize what they are. I have a position in uh, spiders uh, was a really not a good entry, um, only marginally down. So let's go through the positions very quick. Now, if you are watching this video, you may want I'm going to cover my portfolio alphabetically. So if you're interested in any one stock, you may, you may just forward it to that stock if you don't want to hear through the whole thing because this will be longer. So I'm mindful of everybody's time. So if you're interested, you may just want to forward that to particular stock. Let's uh, cover all of them very quick and uh, see what I'm going to do with those. So Amazon, so this one, it has not really been performing. So this is, was a shorter, was supposed to be a shorter term position for me. And uh, so my buy points are here, here, and right here, somewhere close by here. So I don't have an arrow there. But anyway, so we'll see if this doesn't start working soon. And I recorded the weekend market update with some comments there, so I'm not going to repeat those. But if this doesn't start working soon, I'm going to uh, basically just divest this. However, I have a settlement at uh, 34.97 on this one. Again, this is a shorter some position. Uh, wouldn't be interested in longer term until it makes a new high and it breaks out on a, on a weekly chart. Let's go to the next one here, uh, BlackRock. So my sell limit is 731.62. Fed announced on Friday after, uh, after market hours that banks are allowed to buy back shares. So uh, most of the bank stocks were higher. We'll see what happens tomorrow. There have been some news over the weekend. So that may affect the market overall and individual stocks as well. So I was going to raise this uh, to around 750 ish, uh, you know, expecting this to go and touch this upper resistance line. But with the way the market is, I'm okay. I'm just going to leave it at 731.62. This one is looking better on weekly chart. But again, like I said, the market where it is, I will, uh, I will just take my profits or I will uh, get stopped out if it drops below that uh, dollar value there. CVS, so this uh, I'm going to, uh, my sell limit on all the positions were 82. Again, small positions there. Now I'm going to liquidate part of my position. If it uh, crosses above 71.49, that will become my stop. So we'll see how this one works out, but it needs to consolidate sideways with the way the price action is. So we'll, uh, we'll see what happens there. DHR, this is my newest position. I just opened this position recently. So right here on this day. So I'll put an arrow later on. However, this is supposed to be a quicker trade. I'm not going to be holding this longer term. Uh, sell limit currently stands at 248.32. However, it will change based on how the stock behaves. Again, there's no edge there on the weekly chart here. So it was supposed to be just a quicker trade for me. Dow, jo Dow Chemicals. So my sell limit is 6046. This had an upgrade. So we can see it was up 3.4%. Uh, I was going to raise the sell limit on this. However, again, uh, uh, knowing the backdrop of the market, I will uh, I'll stick with this sell limit for now. And then uh, my stop would be right underneath this right there. 
so if it drops underneath that then I will uh, I will take this off the of the list Gilead this is uh, one of my worst performers as you can see from the spreadsheet so nothing to do here I will a uh, very small position I'm gonna continue to hold this with the course of time it will come back up Goldman Sachs uh, my sell limit stays at 265 and uh, we'll see how this does tomorrow uh, with the news of back backdrop I'm not sure I know JP Morgan announced uh, share buybacks and uh, there was another bank I'm not sure if Goldman Sachs announced anything but that's where I stand the weekly chart as we can see it is in a mark up phase so it has uh, just crossed this resistance and then it is going towards uh, going towards this uh, resistance right here so we'll see how that works out j and j so i may hold this one uh, the reason being that when we look at the weekly chart this is very close to all-time highs but again this has been close one two three four five times so it all depends on how the market does but currently i am holding this it will have some news in january and uh, hopefully the vaccine will be effective at a very high levels and it can uh, it is a single dose so that'll be that'll be awesome and uh, it is uh, i believe it were in billions of doses it will have ready in 2021 so that should definitely maybe help the stock break out and it is also going to have better growth next year so again if it uh, if it doesn't act well though i can always enter back so i will probably this one have, will have to stay above the intraday low of uh, friday otherwise i'll have to consider divesting this as well in this market coca-cola so my stop here would be also underneath friday's intraday low so i will uh, right now i have a sell limit on this at uh, 59.80 again nothing wrong with the stock however if the market is going to struggle coca-cola is going to struggle as well because this is a post-covid play and uh, with everything that happened in last 48 hours this may this may struggle so we'll have to see mdc this is my recent position as well so i will either get stopped out at 49.28 Currently, my sell limit is 54.47. I like this longer term. However, this goes where the market goes. So this is not going to be an exception. So I will, uh, this is how I'm going to manage this one. 3M, my current sell limit is, you can't even see this actually, uh, $200 is over the course of time. Same rules apply here. If uh, this does not hold, uh, so right, actually I have it right here. So. I expect this to hold above its 50 day moving average if it does not then I will divest this as well again I can always get back in these positions when market looks better down the road after a pullback at some point mo nothing to do a long way from my cost basis here but this is definitely turned uh, definitely change in character if we go back and see the weekly chart as well so let's see if uh, this is able to sustain the move upwards Mark, I don't like how it is acting. This I will definitely divest uh, if it continues the trend downwards. As we can see on weekly chart, it is actually going the wrong way here. Give me one second, let me get rid of this. So it is actually starting a new downtrend channel. So I don't like what I see. Plus its growth is going to slow down going into 2021, which doesn't bode well either. Microsoft, uh, this was supposed to be a quicker position and it didn't turn out to be too quick for me. So current sell limit is at 230.86. However, if it drops underneath 50 day moving average, I will also liquidate this position at that point. Again, these are all short term. With uh, everything going on in the market, sentiments are sky high the, as far as it has come. And then uh, with other factors I covered in uh, weekend update, uh, everything is uh, going off that now I if I did not buy this on Friday I would not buy this but I did buy it so my sell limit is at 58 587.66 my original stop was at 508.35 so actually I'm going to get rid of this line because that does not really mean anything so yeah I will stick to my stop so if it uh, falls underneath uh, this trend line then I will uh, take a loss on this one or if it uh, jumps up uh, and then uh, hits the sell limit, then uh, that's one thing. Or if it uh, if it shows me something else and market shows me something else, then I'll decide accordingly. Pace, 
nothing to do here. This is my worst performer. RCM continues to juggle along the upper Bollinger Band and the upper resistance line. This has to, this has to consolidate. It, it is significantly higher than the 200 day and 50 day moving average. Historically, it has consolidated. So I just don't see this going higher without fruitful consolidation. Reynolds, this was a uh, nothing. This is not doing anything for me. So I will, uh, I will hold this. It has some dividend here. So I'm not really losing. I'm losing a little bit on this, but it's not really making me much. This is my l smallest position actually. So it's not really hurting me either. So I'll hold on to this at some point. I'll, I will divest though, because this, I don't really see how this is going to considerably, considerably appreciate for me. Vertex, nothing to do here. Uh, this one is not expensive uh, if you're looking at PE, which I normally don't, but its growth is definitely slowing down. However, it has good pipeline as well. So 2021, there is some data due in 2021 and uh, it, it does really good with uh, what it does. It did have a setback on one of the molecule. So we'll see how this works out. However, I will uh, continue to hold this uh, longer term and then uh, we'll evaluate uh, over week over week. Verizon, this is more like J and J, but again, as we can see, one, two, three. If you look at, if, if I draw a line here, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times it has, it has been hitting this line and not being able to break through. This time looks like it could be the time. However, uh, I will hold this as long as it is staying above 50 day moving average. Walmart, as we can see, every time it comes to 50, 50, 58 bounces so we'll see how this works this time on a weekly chart it's a, it's, a, it's a really good uptrend so it's zigzag which is what you want to see so that covers all my positions now walmart i'm going to hold this longer term and uh, as long as it stays above the 200 day moving average so i will continue to hold this over the course of time and that's the plan for today it can change based on how the stock reacts obviously so i will uh, cover another update next weekend I hope all of you are doing well. Take care. Have a good one.